we are given a trigonometrical equation secant theta equals negative 1.4536 we want to find the reference angle in radians using the graphing calculator the first thing is to check that the mode of the calculator is in radians as is selected here we have a look at the calculator and we see that on the calculator there is the sine cosine and tangent buttons to find the angle we press second sine or second cosine or second tangent the ratio given to us is that the secant of the angle is equal to negative 1.4536. We need to convert this secant theta equation into one of the others. Now, we know that secant theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta. Therefore, I take this equation and I say 1 over secant theta equals negative 1 over 1.4536. 1 over secant theta is cosine theta. And on the calculator, I see that 1 over 1.4536 is equal to negative 0.6879. Remember, when we find the reference angle, we need to ignore the negation sign. Because the reference angle is an acute angle, an angle in the first quadrant, we will use the reference angle later on to find out what the angle theta is and to solve this trigonometrical equation given. But in this example, we are not solving the equation. We only want to do the first step, and that is to find the reference angle, the acute angle. So going back to my calculator over here and ignoring the sign, I go to second function cosine, and then I put the answer. The answer I get by saying second negation sign that will put the angle into this function and bring back what the reference angle is it is a good idea to use second angle and not to just type in 0.6879 because second answer the answer has all of the decimal places that was worked out from the step before and not just the rounded off number giving you a more accurate figure so my angle in radians is a 0 0.8121 radians now I'm going to repeat the above steps, but this time I want to find the reference angle in degrees. So in the calculator, I go, I press the mode button, and I make sure that the degree mode is now selected. We will go through all of the same steps above, and the angle coming back will be the angle in degrees. So once again, I convert the secant theta equation to a cosine theta equation by finding the reciprocal of both sides. Again, I ignore the sign, this negative over here, because I want to find the reference angle, which is an acute angle. In the calculator over here you will see that the angle coming back is now 46.53 degrees and not radians because it's bringing back the angle now in degrees you could write your answer 
as 46.532 degrees. Or you could get the calculator to change this degrees into degrees, minutes and seconds by going second and then angle, which is under the apps button, and then selecting the number four option, which converts it to degrees, minutes and seconds. And then you will have your final answer, which is 46 degrees, 31 minutes and 56 seconds.